Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over futures um, and micro tasks. I thought the last video was going to be complete with the um, asynchronous and futures, but I wanted to add one more thing inside. Micro tasks. So this keyword right here, schedule micro task. What a micro task basically is, is when you create a future, you have the normal functions, right? These are synchronous. Then you have the futures. When it comes to the order of things, we were mentioned in Dart before, you go through one, then the next, then the next, and it goes in that order, right? But that's not all of it. So what Dart will do is it will actually run the standard functions, whoops, function, function, right there. It will run the standard functions, then it will put at the end of the line the futures, okay? And then before, so so this first and then this. However, if you have a micro task, a task where you want to get done before other futures, schedule micro task just puts you at the front of the line. The, the other option is future.microtask right there. That's another possibility as well. It's the same thing. Schedule micro task, future micro task. So normal function, it will, it will print normal one. Future, it will print future one schedule micro task okay and then print print um let's move these prints around so notice the order of things but let's run it and see what actually happens okay so it'll hit the normal one two and three and then it'll hit the micro tasks next in the order in the correct order so micro task one micro task two micro task three but the very end it's going to put the futures so that's just the order at in which dart sees things it almost is as if it puts like an, a latency in front of the futures but the micro tasks whether it's a schedule micro task or future dot micro task again same thing um that gets put in the front of the line so if you ever need something that well, i need this first and i'm not sure what's going to happen with these futures put the schedule micro task or the um, future.microtask in there. Okay, so it was pretty simple, straightforward. I'm honestly not sure where we're going to use this in the future, but I just wanted to throw this inside of there just in case you see that in somebody's code. That's what they're trying to do, to, to stick it in the front of the line in front of the futures. Okay, thank you.